Friday. It's Good Friday. Maybe you're off of work and already trying to get to the airport for your travel for the holiday weekend. We'll have more on what stands to be in your way weatherwise. I'm Robin Mead. First, though, you know the top story. And then headed off to Mar-a-Lago for the Easter weekend and does not have any events scheduled today, but we will keep an eye, you bet, on Twitter this morning. Robert Mueller is a little, I don't know, revved up and caffeinated and discombobulated for a second this morning. It's because there was a tornado warning that had everybody here run of stabbed by other prisoners and guards pulled him outside and did radio for medical help. But the attorney says he was left in the yard for 45 so you, you're not time. you're not into the learning cursive. I love cursive writing. Yeah, I think it could be a nice trend or a, something that you do for fun. But like, like calligraphy, we're ah. not teaching them calligraphy either. All right, <laughs> you see it more artistic. Interesting. It's funny because it used to be like if you saw someone had like chicken scratch writing, um, it looked like a serial killer type of writing. Now everybody's writing is messy because nobody does it. But you can have nice print, you know. Anyway. Shock. She shocks me. Be on the lookout for scammers if you are feeling so moved to donate to help the Notre Dame Cathedral rebuild. They're already on the on, on the lookout for you. This is what we should be teaching kids. Okay. <laughs> You're right. How to look out for their money. I mean, come on. That's a big missing there. All right. But look, as soon as stories like this happen, here's the thing. Scammers, they've already got a playbook. They've already done this many times, and they're out to capture your feelings of generosity and turn them into money for them. They all reach people you know if they're not sure about that and they're still clicking links. Didn't think I would love it if they would teach kids that. That's the kind of skill. Like, people really need that and don't have that in this day and age, and criminals know it. All right. Thank you, Jen. Uh, every day, people... You don't mind if we pause to salute the troops, do you? Today it is for Army Colonel Katrina Lloyd. Her sorority sister Melissa says Katrina just got promoted. Morning. Good job, Melissa. Thank you for telling us all about her. And thank you, Katrina. If you have somebody in the military and you're just like, I just want to thank that person, do just like what she did. All right. So what happened is she reached out at Robin Mead on Twitter, or you can Facebook me or Facebook the show. And we'll get it on the air. Where else is it going? It's part of the New Music Friday out today. Did you know she's got a busy weekend heading to Coachella to perform now? Also, 22 minutes past the hour. I give you time because you don't have enough in the morning. All right. So Ancestry.com just pulled an ad after people thought it seemed to try to romanticize slavery. Online, a lot of other people have statements, too. Mm, Good morning. A lot of statements. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. There was a, a big reaction to this. Let's put it that way. That's to put it mildly, because it really blew up online. Melissa Murray writes, I have so many questions about how they really missed the mark here. How could this have been approved for mass consumption without one person in the room to raise their hand and say, oh, guys, I don't, I don't know about this? Mm. Kind of takes us back to February, when there were all of those um, cultural appropriation or akin to cultural appropriation and racial insensitivity, um, different outfits that they were putting on. Remember that with the yeah. fashion brands? Yeah. So a lot of people questioning, oh, right. like, yes, yes. who's at the table here? Do we need a seat at the table, meaning there needs to be more diversity mm -hmm. making these decisions, people with diversity. On a, a corporate positive note, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a pro tip, Jennifer, as our money expert, a lot of times will look at corporations' apologies, and she was like, that... That was a, a pretty well done, at least, statement. It didn't make any excuses. Sure. Mm -hmm. Just said, so sorry. And mm -hmm. it was swift, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Katie delivering a KO against the Clippers <laughs> and makes no apology. I call it. Yes, good morning, Robin. The Warriors, remember the laces. That can happen in baseball, Luke. right? Like, you just get on fire sometimes. I guess so. <laughs> you can lose it as fast as you find it. I'll take whatever <laughs> Luke's having for breakfast. <laughs> Give me some of that. Well All done, right. sir. Any college scouts? Any? <laughs> yeah. All right, investigators say they made a brand new album out today, self-titled. She's 21 and has a seasoned voice like that. Go, Jade. I wish Bob were around. Bob, where are you? Because uh, he has, does a great Keith Richards. <laughs> I'm like, why? Is yeah, he, because. About no, the he's weather? no musical expert. Breaking that's news. For sure. no, okay. <laughs> yeah, a waitress in Cleveland is getting some big time shout outs because she was caught on camera speaking of singing mm -hmm. at the bar. 
Was she good? Uh, good does not adequately describe her. Awesome. When you hear this, and appreciative of all the love that's coming her way. And how about this? I've been watching her Instagram, looking at her story this morning. She is headed to New York right now <gasps> to go on GMA. Good for her. For the Strahan and Sarah show. So she is really blowing up. That viral video has done a lot for her. I don't know how long she'll be waitressing. You know? Well, at least, at least let's give her a voice contestant. Okay, right? okay. okay. She's the voice right. of Cleveland. <laughs> Listen, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. New this hour, Joe from Real Housewives. Oh, yeah, if I can talk. Real Housewives of New Jersey is a step closer to being deported. He hospitalized. Her mom took to Facebook angry at parents who refuse to have their kids vaccinated. So, Dr. Debbie, Renzi, a professor of rehabilitation medicine at NYU School of Medicine, and she's with us, obviously, here in studio. We're so glad to have you with us oh, to talk about you. this because it, has, it feels like it has just exploded. Why do you think this has been so prolific in the last few months? Well, I think it, we're losing something called the herd effect. So the idea is that if you get a vaccine, you protect the vaccine? Possibly. So the vaccine is about 93%. This flight attendant in Israel is in a coma because of the measles right now. So let's talk about these people who traveled through LAX airport on April 3rd. Um, do you believe them to be safe at this point? I, I would think well, if, we're, if they're telling us to put it out there. There's concern. Yeah, there's concern. You're cold, right? So what right. happens is during that time, you might expo so they then get exposed. So they prepare for us when we are safe. Exactly. <laughs> Dr. Debbie, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. So Indiana University is battling the mumps. School officials say six.